Cheers. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Not Becca, Katie 9 POK here, and today we are doing a kind of random-ish video, but also we're going to be taking a look at the 705 and a little bit of stuff like that. But first off, business stuff I need to be doing. Step one, I showed you the sticker flask right there. Awesome. All right, guys, now that I've officially quenched my thirst with my sticker flask. I need a better name for that. So reply in the comments if you have a better name. It has to either have something to do with stickers, ham radio, or the color blue, or all three. You can put the word flask in it. And also, if you have any stickers that would um, fit in the open spaces in my sticker flask, they're kind of small right now, the open spaces. I already put all of the big stickers on there that I currently have like this giant beautiful sticker. This is why I started putting stickers on my hydro flask because I was like that sticker it's so aesthetically appealing. Like whoever created this sticker, kudos. So many kudos. Okay so anyway back to the actual reason I'm doing this video. Um intro and stuff. Step two is in one of my how to solder series videos, I'm not exactly sure which one, I made up this rhyme that was I will prevail, I will succeed, I will not fail, dot dot dot, and I needed a word that rhymed with succeed. So I will be right back with the results of the comment contest I created for that, and I will tell you what I decided and what the end of the rhyme is. So kudos to Plasma for the 20 plus rhymes he gave me, much appreciation. Um, Deep was also in his list, as was Plead, which was the other suggestion I got from WB8FEQ, uh, Whiskey Bravo 8, Foxtrot Echo Quebec, and uh, kudos to Don D because he is the one who came up with the phrase, I did the deed, which I chose. So the total rhyme is, I will prevail, I will succeed, I will not fail, I did the deed, which I like quite a lot. Thank you to everyone who participated in my little contest. Uh, I know I have another little contest that I mentioned earlier, which is name my sticker flask. So there's that. I believe that's all the things I had to get out of the way for this video. So without further ado, let's roll that awesome intro video. All right, guys, I changed the lighting a little bit because I did have some lighting like right like like that and you could see it and it was reflecting and I was like nah let's not do that so it's a little dimmer but it's actually whatever you can see stuff right that's what matters please focus please thank you never mind not thank you anyway that's not a huge deal yet so one quick thing before we turn the rig on for the first time for me because I thought I'd turn it on for the first time on camera apparently I put the stand on wrong when I did it on camera so basically what you're going to do you're going to take the nut and the washer off you're going to line up the two holes which is not exactly easy to do when you're also filming and yeah I'm using my hands so if it's a little shaky that's my bad yell at me in the comments then we're going to stick the washer on like that. All right, so the nut, the nut, the bolt holds it in place. We have enough, I don't know. Basically, if you put the nut on the bolt and then put it in the holes and screw it on, it'll be fine. So don't worry about like, you know, where you're gonna put the nut so you don't lose it when you're not storing it because it doesn't end up being so tall that it messes with the angle that it puts it at. So. That is now on correctly and it is much better that way, I have to say. But I'm gonna take it off for videography purposes. Nice and easy, just like that. All right guys, let's find the power button on this beauty. Power button is, I don't know, where's the power button? Oh, there it is, I'm just blind. Look at that, green light. Green means go guys. <gasps> ICOM, IC 705. Wait a minute, what did it say my battery power's at? It should be at 100, it's been charging for forever. Okay, ooh, ooh, spinny dial thingy. Number one, I love how big the numbers are. It makes it really easy to see them, which is great. Where is my, I want my scope. That's what I want. Here we go. Let's see if we can find someone. Okay, we're gonna click on the 14, put it to seven. And then we're gonna click over there. 
so that we can move faster. Oh, I went out of TX range. Whoops, did you hear that sound when I went out of TX range? That's probably sent for that. So if you go out of TX range, it makes a sound and then it puts a little thingy around the TX, which basically means you can't transmit here, so don't try it. So I'm gonna go back into TX range. We're gonna zoomy zoomy. I'm in the sixes. Oh, I went out of it again. Yikes, where is everybody? I don't have, a, I don't have an antenna on. What exactly was I expecting? Okay, let's try something else. Let's try, let's try 20. I was already on 20, but let's try 20 again. I don't really care. I'm expecting the spectrum smoke to, smoke, <laughs> spectrum scope to actually say something, but that's okay. Audio? Oh, oh, oh. What's this we're seeing? This is interesting. I'm still like, I don't know. I'm used to using this one. My camera, focus. Oh, hair everywhere. Yikes, sorry. Sorry, I have a lot of hair. It's rather long. Okay, so I've used one of these before at Yoda Camp, as I've mentioned, so I know a little bit about it, but for some reason I'm not picking up anything. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I don't have an antenna connected. If only I had an antenna to connect it to. Hmm, I think I actually do. Let's check. It's BNC, right? Which is there. I'm gonna ask dad if he has a BNC antenna I can connect just to see if it'll show something on the spectrum scope because I want to see something on the spectrum scope. Guys, 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 guess what? I have news! She's working now. Guess what I did? I connected an antenna. This antenna. Actually, not this antenna. Sorry. It's it's over here. Just a little bit further. Ooh, shaky cam footage. Basically, I connected some coax by BNC to the um, radio, and then I came over here and I got BNC to coax adapter connector thingy, connected it to this coax, which I believe connects to the DX commander in our backyard, front yard, yard yard. So you can hear it kind of making noise in the background if you pay attention to that stuff. Let's look at this now that there's actually stuff on the spectrum scope. And yeah, I was walking with my shaky cam footage. Have fun with that. Please don't watch if you get, like, you know, strokes, seizures, stuff. This is a public service announcement. Okay, so, real quick. Ooh, I love that. Wee, wee, wee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm having fun. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, you can see all these things. If you click on it, you can, like, zoom in further. Doesn't it, like, slide? I thought it slid. I don't know, I thought it slid. So yeah, you can click on that and you can go by little bits and you can click on that and you can go by much bigger bits. So that's all sorts of fun. And then you can come over. This is all fairly simple stuff. You can come over, you can hover on something and listen. I wonder if I can find people talking. I don't know, I don't know very much about like band plans and stuff like that, but I do know that people talk. I wonder if there's an SWR, SWR? Is it SWR? I feel like it's SWR. Is it SWR? Wow, I am out of practice, my guys. Can you tell? Yeah, so that's the spectrum scope. Let's see. Um, lock? No. Okay, I just clicked that. I believe it speaks the screen. Dad told me something about it. I promptly forgot it. That's my bad. Okay, let's see. How do we lock this? I want to lock. Dialogue on, let's go, I figured it out. Okay, that's what it does. So it'll say stuff if it's there and then dialogue on every time you move it, it's just like, by the way, you can't actually do anything. Wow, that was high pitch. Yeah, that is honestly the most important thing for me because I have a tendency to hit the dial. And yeah, we're just gonna chill at 720903. Okay, let's look at some menu stuff basically. Look, oh my God, it's a menu. Scope, audio, voice, meter, SWR, memory. It actually has the ability to remember context for you, which I think is cool. This is kind of just some random stuff, remember. SWR, that's what it is, SWR. I wanna look at the SWR. Let's see, play. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, could you, could you guys hear that? Here, let's fix that. So I did tell you a little bit about the microphone. If you listen right now, it's actually coming from the microphone. Now, if we pull the proper one, that was the improper one. Good job, Becca. There we go. Okay, now she's on the big speaker. Now you can hear her. Okay, let's see. Ooh, SDBR graph created. It's literally not even at 1.5. That's amazing. Beautiful SWR. Okay, that would be because it's a DX commander. Oh, okay, let's look at stuff. One, if you hit the big number, like the seven, it comes up and then it has all of these numbers. So seven for 40, 
14 for 20, 3.5 would be 10, I guess. So yeah, that's cool. So if you go to seven, no, I liked where I was. Oh, they're telling you how to do a net. That's cool. This is what I like to hear. I like to hear all of the people being nice to each other and enjoying their company and stuff and being nice to new hams who don't really know what's happening because I'm kind of one of those new hams that doesn't really know what's happening. So anyway, what I was saying, go over here and hit LSB, which is lower sideband, and then it'll bring up stuff. This is what I love about ham radio. All of the really nice OMs on the net, teaching the new kid who doesn't know what's happening. It's great. It's amazing. I could just sit here and listen to this and listen to them all be nice to him and teach him how to do a net, which is great because I don't know how to do a net. So maybe I'll find some like really great, you know, what are they called? It's not OM, it's not LID, Elmer. Maybe I'll find a really great Elmer who'll show me how to do nets and stuff like that. I'm enjoying listening to these guys talk. Okay, so it focused for a second. We're just gonna roll with this. I hit the LSB in the upper left hand corner, which showed this and you can change the mode that you're transmitting slash listening on to SSB, which will change it from LSB to USB, lower sideband, upper sideband, stuff like that. One more thing I wanted to show you that I know how to do is you can use this little knob up in the upper left hand corner. And if it would please focus, cause this is no fun when it's not focusing. Basically, if you look at that white box, which looks kind of blue, because it's showing some blue, and the red, so if you line the white box up with the red, then it'll show, like, zero right up in the right. So there's a zero right there. Basically, that's you listening to 100% of the spread of that sing signal. The line in the center, uh, please stop going away. I need you to stay. Not pretty. No. This is me. So basically that line in the center is the signal that you are listening to. I'm sorry, this is so hard to watch. And so what you can do is you can change what you're listening to so that you're listening to only like, you know, the left hand side of the signal. If someone's being really loud right next to the signal, you can't hear what's happening, which I thought was cool. So that's it for all of the random things that I know about the 705, except for how to get a camera to focus on it while it's on apparently. I enjoyed listening to this net. It was amazing. <laughs> Ask them to please be quiet, and they do. Ooh, it focused. There we go. That's a nice beauty shot of the 705. All right, guys, that was a little chaotic and a whole lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. That net that I listened to at what was it? Seven. 850 I think it was you can look back I'll write the frequency like right there it was amazing I could hear them talking to the new guy on the net and telling him what to do and like helping him out with all kinds of stuff and I just I love listening to that stuff and I love hearing people just be nice to new people welcoming them, welcoming them into the hobby because I know there are good people there are bad people there are always more good people than bad people and that footage that stuff that I listen to just proves it it's amazing Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to film. It was a lot of fun to edit. I had a blast. Don't forget, name my sticker flask. See you in the next one. What's that like? Eight inches. <laughs> it's so much taller than me. Here, just make that there. There we go. That, that's the right angle right there. I feel sure. I should probably do that looking.